morning. Welcome back to BTE. Uh, we are currently looking at slick, slippery, and windy conditions as you head out the door this morning, so you will want to give yourself that extra time. Uh, we're looking at a problem right now over on the eastbound 401, east of the Allen in the Express, just on the shoulder here. As you can see, we have MTO on the scene. It's really not causing a delay whatsoever on the eastbound 401. It's moving very well, both in the Express and Collector Lanes. It is more of a visual distraction. Outside of that, the southbound 404 DVP is uh, problem-free and moving very well, heading down towards Gardner. Uh, but we can't say the same about the eastbound Gardner as of right now. It's just outside of our view, but eastbound Gardner approaching Jarvis. We've got a right lane block because of pothole repairs. Uh, emergency crews are on the scene, and the eastbound Gardner ramp to uh, Jarvis is uh, currently blocked partially because of a stalled vehicle. So right now we're looking at delays on the eastbound Gardner from Jarvis to about Cherry, and uh, that's really slowing things down heading into the downtown core. But outside of that, things are moving fine on the rest of our major routes. How do you keep the romance alive once you've got kids? Find out in the Parenting Podcast Attitude with Vic Luso and Al Del Bene. Visit GlobalStoryNetwork.com. That is a look at your drive. And now we're going to send things out to Natasha Reptilia. Yes, Reptilia, Reptilia Vaughn. The zoo entrance is this way, and I've got two helpers with me this morning. My kids, because they're off, right? Hi. Shauna and Tristan. <laughs> they, their mom isn't on TV at all. I don't know how they know how to do that. Anyhow, we're going into the zoo, and we are going to be here all morning long for you. What we're going to show you in 10 minutes is the feeding of Friday. Who's Friday? That's Friday. So that's coming up in about, ooh, yeah, he's ready. I don't have your food yet, so just calm down. Uh, but i got to tell you about the, the weather, because it is a little a little bit tricky out there if you have to travel this morning. We've had a wave of rain. You probably heard it last night and a second wave of moisture still to come. That is heading into the GTA right now. And because temperatures are still hovering around the freezing mark to the north end of the GTA, all that turquoise, those are your freezing rain warnings. It's Caledon. It is higher elevations. It is northern York Durham. We're going to stay as all rain in the 416. Watch for that wind as well. We're gusting anywhere from 60 to 70 kilometers per hour and even up to 80 at times this morning. That wind will ease this afternoon. That rain as well ending later this morning. I think we'll actually get some sunny breaks in there this afternoon. Watch what happens after midnight, though. The blue takes over. Those are flurries overnight tonight, and that will turn into snow tomorrow morning. We've got uh, even potentially some snow squalls here as these uh, sort of southwest winds pick up here. And watch for much reduced visibility across the Niagara Peninsula at times tomorrow. And the good news is it'll taper off in time for New Year's Eve. I'd say by about 9, 10 p.m., we're done with the snow. Wind chills around minus 6, so dress for that. And here's your three-day forecast with 10 degrees today falling to five this afternoon and then lake effect flurries continuing on Wednesday. All right, get go out of here. Let's get let's get going. Let's get going. I don't know. I'm not Dina. I can't do the puns. Over to you, Mel. Nat, thank you. We're going to start things off with what's happening on the 401 right now. We can tell you the lanes have reopened, but earlier this morning, eastbound 401, a man struck and killed by a transport truck while walking on the highway. It happened around 1 this morning in the express lanes near the Allen. It is right now not clear why the man was walking on the highway, but police are looking into reports that he may have broken down. A vehicle was found abandoned in the collector lanes. The victim was pronounced at the scene. The roadway has since reopened. All right, just want to uh, tell you about a couple of major power outages that are affecting more than 10,000 Electra customers in Barrie right now. The utility tweeting out that they were caused by high winds and that crews are right now on site working on repair. The problem is they don't know how long this is going to take. So we're going to continue to contact them and get you an update through the morning, uh, let you know when you should get that power back on. Now, if you are driving this morning, please be aware Environment Canada has issued that freezing rain warning for much of southern Ontario and with the warm wind warnings as well that Natasha has been telling you about. Just a rain event here in Toronto, but surrounding areas, including Halton Peel, York Durham, seeing some very icy conditions. The visuals you see here are from Caledon this morning. Be sure to give yourself a lot of extra time, leave that extra space between the vehicles, and please stay within the speed limits. A freezing rain also impacting our southern neighbors in Minnesota, causing chaos and an icy wonderland for others. Look at this. This highway Thank covered you, in black ice, causing a crash, stopping traffic. Some got out of their cars to just slide around. Look at this. On local roads, school buses and cars spinning out. Some are enjoying sidewalks turned into skating rinks, though. Have a look at this. Why not? But officials are urging everyone to use caution until those rising temperatures start melting this away.
news now. New York's mayor vows tighter security around Jewish sections of his city in the wake of a weekend stabbing. We will keep adding as many measures as it takes to end this crisis. Today, I announce additional NYPD presence. Five people were stabbed at the home of a rabbi. The attacker later arrested and held on $5 million bail. He has pleaded not guilty and has another court appearance today. Security in several Jewish neighborhoods was stepped up on Friday after a series of anti-Semitic incidents. The hate crime division of the New York City police claim there has been eight anti-Semitic incidents reported since the middle of the month. Three people are dead, including the gunman, when violence broke out during a church service near Fort Worth, Texas yesterday. The gunman apparently stood up during the service, opened fire, and then was shot dead by a nearby parishioner who is now being praised for his actions. A motive for the killings unknown. The church service was being live streamed on social media at the time.